The size of generative AI models is constantly increasing, with models reaching hundreds of billions of parameters. GKE currently supporting the world's largest managed Kubernetes cluster with 15,000 nodes has the capacity to handle these demanding training workloads. Anticipating even larger models, we're introducing support for 65,000 node clusters. This expansion will enable the training of models with 10 trillion parameters or more. My name is Mofi, I'm a developer advocate in the GKE team, and I have here with me Bishar Masri, and I'm a software engineer in the GKE AI training scalability team. So let's jump right into it. As we see here on the screen, we have the cluster creation process where on the top side, we see the graph showing the number of nodes through time, going from zero up to 65,000 nodes. On the bottom left, we have the cluster information status changing from provisioning to reconciling and finally running. And on the bottom right, we have the node pools being added as the cluster is being created. The whole cluster creation process takes around one and a half to two hours. In this setup, we use Terraform to create our cluster, where the default node pool has a size of a thousand nodes. And we had extra 16 node pools, each of a size uh, 4,000, adding up to 65,000 nodes. Choosing a different number of node pools is also possible if the process requires it, but in this example, we went with 17. And as we can see here, we have all of the 65,000 nodes created as indicated in, by the graph and the logs. Now that we have the cluster ready, let's create some workload to simulate the AI training and inference running on the same cluster. For this, we will use the open source performance testing tool called Cluster Loader 2. Here we have our training workload that consists of 50,000 pods, each pod mapped to one node. After the training workload, we introduce our inference workload of 15,000 pods sharing the same cluster. As our higher priority inference workload scales up due to increase traffic for example it will disrupt the training workload and stop it completely as the training workload has an all or nothing property this will enable us to scale the inference workload to 65,000 nodes each pod again mapping to one node we observe the pod scattering throughput reaching up to 500 pods per second when the traffic spike to our inference workload decreases we can scale it down back to 15,000 pods and reschedule the training workload to resume its training process this training workload will continue after its recovery process until it's finished. Once the training finishes, we can free up the cluster resources, allowing for inference workload to scale up or other training to run on the cluster. This scenario illustrates a real-life example on running a mixed training and inference workload on a large cluster with scale-up ability. We're excited to see what other complex scenarios you can implement with a cluster of such a massive scale. This feature will enable very large-scale AI training and inference workloads, available soon for customers by request. Speak to your account representative to set up such a cluster. A supporting blog post with more technical details will be coming out soon.